So the first thing you're going to want to do is start heating up your pot of water that you will cook your pasta in in a few minutes. And then in a large wok or a large frying pan, whatever you have, you can go ahead and add in your oil. I am just using avocado oil, but you can also use olive oil or whatever kind of oil you have. And then just give that a minute or so until it heats up. and then you will add in all of your cabbage. Now I really like this to have a lot of cabbage, so I'm using an entire head of cabbage, but it will shrink down quite a bit. If you don't like this much cabbage, you can definitely half the amount of cabbage, or you can even half the entire recipe because it will make a lot, but I will let you know now that it really does reheat very well. So this is something that you can make in the beginning of the week and then reheat it for leftovers or for lunches the rest of the week. And then add in all of your veggie stock. Now I am just using the Better Than Boyan brand, but you can use whatever kind of veggie stock you like. And then I just give that another good stir and then you will go ahead and add in your carrots. And then I give that a really good mix and then just stir it occasionally and let that cook between seven to 10 minutes or until it has really cooked down and it is about half of the original size. So once your cabbage has cooked down, you're going to go ahead and add in your green onions. And then you will add in two tablespoons of sesame oil, one quarter cup of soy sauce, and a quarter cup of stir fry sauce. Then just give that a really good stir and reduce the heat down to low and let that cook for just a few minutes. And while that's cooking, your water should be boiling at this point, so go ahead and add in your lo mein noodles. And these are the ones that I found at my store, but if you can't find these ones exactly, you can just find something similar and go with that. And then you will just cook your noodles according to the package. And once your noodles are drained, just add it into your cabbage mixture and just give that a really good stir until everything is nicely combined. And that is all there is for cooking this. You can go ahead and eat this and enjoy as it is, or you can go ahead and add on some toppings. I love adding on sesame seeds and also some fresh green onions. And this is such a delicious dish. I absolutely love this. My entire family loves it. And because the cabbage cooks down so much, you can feed this to your kids and they probably won't even notice. I know all of my kids don't even notice the cabbage. They will just eat the entire dish and love it. 
I just cannot say enough good things about this one. It is one of our new favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and be sure to let me know if you end up making this how you like it. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also follow me over on Instagram and I will see you in my next one.